Pete Buttigieg, come on down. You're the next contestant on Flavor of the Week. So, um, <laughs> I really need some graphics. I really need to learn how to, like, throw some flair at you. I'm such a caveman, though. I'll get on it. But anyway, Pete Buttigieg is the latest Democrat Flavor of the Week. Uh, who's being propped up and shoved down our throats. Uh, he's doing very well in the polls. Uh, he is uh, uh, polling third in the Emerson, in the latest Emerson poll, uh, just below Bernie and Biden. So uh, he's getting a noticeable bump. And, um, you know, like I said, though, he's a flavor of the week. Uh, like former flavor of the weeks include Kamala Harris, uh, Beto O'Rourke, who all got noticeable bumps. You know, when they announced and they were getting propped up and they went away. Uh, and now it's Pete Buttigieg. And next week will likely be Joe Biden when Obama fever comes back. Uh, and, and Joe's going to get his his wind. And it, that'll likely collapse uh, by the first debates, in my opinion. Because most Americans are going to realize, okay, uh, the, the, these people represent the past. Joe Biden especially represents the past. We need to go forward. We need new ideas. We need progressive leadership. Um, thank you, Joe, for your service. But uh, Ari Vaderci, okay, get it? Get out of the way. Uh, so, like I said, we have to go through this process of Democrats uh, putting up their establishment candidates, shoving them down our throat, letting them have their moment, and then they're going to fade away. Uh, because, you know, the DNC is a mess. They're desperate. They're absolutely and utterly desperate to throw anyone at us. They're throwing candidates at the wall and see who sticks. And we got some Buttigieg on the wall right now, and he'll be done next week when Biden announces and whatnot. It's just whatever. Uh, it's to be expected. Anybody but Bernie, anybody but Tulsi, uh, anybody but Yang, anybody that is either a populist or a progressive, they do not want the establishment, uh, the DNC establishment wants someone to tow the, the Democrat, the corporate Democrat line, full stop. That's who they want. So you're not going to see Marianne Williamson or Mike Ravel or, or, or Bernie Sanders or Tulsi Gabbard uh, in the in the good graces of the DNC, no, they're going to go with the corporate centrist, and it's just becoming a flavor of the week type scenario. And it's silly, it's funny, and it's sad because the DNC just seems like they're flailing in the wind, um, so utterly desperate to uh, shove a centrist uh, down our throats. Uh, <laughs> They're just trying to avoid progressives and populists at all costs. It's really funny. Uh, so, you know, most of us are on to them, and we're, we're smart enough to recognize that and to not fall for that, and that's awesome. Uh, but there's always a few out there who are going to be, you know, caught up in Buttigieg fever. And, uh... <laughs> that guy, I, I, I just don't... I mean, I just don't care about identity politics. I mean, yeah, that'd be the first gay president. That's fine. Uh, you know, if, if Tulsi was the first female president, that's great. Those are all bonuses. Like, I'm never, I'm not against those things. I'm not for those things as a means to an end, though. I, I'm for policies. We want policies that work for the American people. That's the goal here, okay? The goal isn't to get the first black president, the first gay president, the first woman president. Those things are, are intrinsically good. Diversity is strength. I'm with you, Okay. But that's not the goal here. The goal here is to find the people who represent the policies that are most going to represent the people. Full stop. So be keen to the flavor of the week, uh, you know, game that the TNC loves to throw at you every single day in their corporately owned media. Just be onto it. It's pathetic. So anyway... Biden will be the flavor of the week next week, and I'll probably do another video about Democrat flavor of the week.